thought that I would do the online dating challenge tag thing where you answer some questions about what you would answer in a dating situation when people intrude on your personal life. <laughs> so here we go. Do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> Other than food, oh, I think I believe in attraction at first sight, but I think you definitely need to get to know the person first before you can fall in love. That sounds really like cliche, but it's true. <laughs> what do you do for fun? I do for fun. I love hanging with people. I, I just love being around people all the time. I love meeting tourists, I love hearing their stories, and I guess YouTube's become a big hobby. And singing. I love singing. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> do you have or want any children? I don't have any children, although I do um, help out at my church's creche. So I guess, in a way, I have like 25 children. I didn't birth them, but, <laughs> but I love them all so much. I would, I would love to have children though. I am an only child and yeah, I, I would love to have lots of children. My great grandmother was one of 18 siblings, so I, I won't go that far, but I'd like to have a little, I don't know, soccer team of my own. What am I looking for in a relationship? I don't know, this is so hard. As a Christian, I would like to find a Christian guy. Um, I'm pretty happily pleased, I guess, in a lot of ways. I don't think I really have a certain type in, in attraction wise. I like someone who can make me cups of tea and can deal with my just insaneness and I don't know <laughs> this is what happens when I get nervous I start to sing my words <laughs> oh what is one thing about yourself wait what wait what is one thing about yourself that you would like me to know that's the right way to word that I have a teapot collection. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Hashtag cool. <laughs> Which was the first crush you ever had? I was in love with Greg the Wiggle. The yellow wiggle. He was a singer, which, you know. And he was yellow. My favorite color, my favorite thing. I was so in love with him when I was four years old that I wrote love letters to him, which my mum then posted to the Wiggles, and I got little newsletters back from them saying, thank you for your little cute notes. Now, looking back at that's a bit weird because I was four and he was probably in his 30s. Maybe I like older men. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. But yeah, I guess that was my first crush. You have got six months to live. What do you do? Oh my gosh. Pray? Pray that I have more than six months to live. That would be horrible. I, I think, I'd rather not think about it. Yeah, I don't wanna think about that right now. I'm well, guys, I'm well. How good is that? Are you a morning person or a night person? I am not a morning person. I will sleep. Just getting out of bed is so hard. Why is it so hard? And I don't understand why people get up and they run in the morning. I don't understand running full stop, but running in the morning? Ridiculous. They're the kind of people I don't like. No, I'm joking. <laughs> if you have friends coming over, what would you cook? like making desserts, cupcakes, I also love cupcakes, but
but I'm gluten free. So gluten free stuff. And then I trick people because they're always like gluten free stuff doesn't taste good. And then I'll make it and then they like it and I'll be like, guess what? It's gluten free. Bam. Yeah, yeah, I'm sneaky like that. <laughs> Maybe that's something you don't tell someone on a first date that you're sneaky. Uh oh. If you could go back in time, is there a mistake that you would correct? There's definitely things that maybe I feel regrettable about doing, but I grew so much from those experiences that I think if I didn't go through them, then I wouldn't be who I am today. So I don't think there really is anything. Actually, no. When I was in year seven, I decided to bleach my hair at home, and then I let it the regrowth come back down to here and I thought it was really cool. It just looks horrible. Looking back, I'm so embarrassed. That's definitely something I'd fix. Where do you see yourself in five years time? Five years time I will be walking around a zoo. <laughs> five years time. I would really like to be completely free of sickness and have been free of sickness for those five years. That would be great. I'd like to pursue some acting, that would be really sweet, or pursue my music. Five years time, I'll be 25. So I don't think I'd have kids by then, but I guess I'd hopefully have my stable partner, and... Ooh. Hopefully YouTube's still going well. I'm really enjoying this. This is really cool, I really like this. I like you guys. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching my dating profile. Let me know if you date me. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit too much for some people. But that's okay. Not everyone's going to like you in life. And I am a big believer in staying true to you. Um, as long as it's not hurting other people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tag, because this is a tag video, I'm going to tag Olivia. Ooh, Olivia. I am going to tag Laura. Now Laura hasn't started her YouTube channel yet, but hopefully this will kick her in the butt to start it. And I am going to tag Matthew. Matahu. Matahu. <laughs> I think there's three people I would like to tag. Oh, and Chris. Chris. I'll tag Chris. I'll put all their linky things around here. And yeah, a like up and comment and share and subscribe.